the big news of the day. It's about the midterm elections. You know, that all important day in November where you vote for a senator or a congressman and then a bunch of positions you're not even really sure are real. <laughs> but this November, this November, there's one governor's race that could change things, not just for their state, but for everyone. And I'm talking about Arizona. It's the state for people who like Texas, but wish it had more scorpions and old people. <laughs> right now, in Arizona, Republican Carrie Lake is in a neck and neck race against Democrat Katie Hobbs. And if Lake wins, it could change the course of American democracy itself. So let's get to know her better in our latest installment of Fringe Watching. <laughs> Meet Carrie Lake, candidate for Arizona governor and boss who's gonna send you back to Starbucks until you learn the difference between a flat white and a latte, you moron! <laughs> Of all the newcomers to MAGA politics, Carrie Lake is making the biggest waves. She defeated a mainstream Republican in the primaries. She's endorsed by Donald Trump himself, right? And she insists on saying Merry Christmas even in July. <laughs> and every time she opens her mouth, every single time she speaks, you can see why the Trump crowd loves her. As governor, I will issue a declaration of invasion, finish President Trump's wall, blow up the cartel's drug tunnels and surveillance drones, and deploy the Arizona National Guard to stop illegals from entering. Between anti-American history that's being taught, inappropriate sex education, and the racist critical race theory, or as I like to refer to it all, woke curriculum, it is teaching our children hatred. It's time to take a sledgehammer to the mainstream media's lies and propaganda. During Pride Month, Lake tweeted, they kicked God out of schools and welcomed the drag queens. They took down our flag and replaced it with the rainbow. Katie Hobbs thinks there are 47 different genders. Why don't you go out and try to milk a bull and tell me how that goes? <laughs> GOP strategists say she's taking Trump's message and morphing it into her own. You can call me Trump in a dress any day. No! No! Why did she say that? Uh, now I'm picturing it, Trump in a dress. Uh, I didn't want that image in my head. Uh, I can see it now, the balls are just dangling in the breeze. Uh, they look like two tiny mandarins. Oh. And each one has a comb over. Why did she say that? Why? <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, Carrie Lake is full on magorific. She hates illegal immigrants, drag queens, and the mainstream media. I mean, did you see how she just smashed the <laughs> out of those TVs? Which for some reason are all from 30 years ago. <laughs> oh really, why, why are those TVs so old? What, is, is her whole campaign just an excuse to clean out her garage? Big government is just like these, this lawnmower that I no longer need. Yeah! <laughs> also, for the record, if you disagree with what you see on one channel, you don't have to sledgehammer the whole TV. You can just change the channel to something different. We have that technology now. It's the future. 